we're going to go yeah. back to like where it all started. Yes. And you know, you're just kind of like, sure, I'm going to go to the studio and you end up making a hit song. So what was that like for you? How did that change your life? Well, Stereo Love definitely kind of happened overnight. Um, we got Stereo Love and I was asked to do the vocal for it. And I had nothing out. I was a new artist. I was still figuring myself out. I didn't even have Facebook. I had nothing. So then Stereo Love came along and I heard it and, I, and, it, and everybody was like, Mia would sound really good on this. So I went and I demoed the, I demoed the song. And I just had this feeling. I'm like, this is going to be something because this is, this is good. This is like really good. So I was like, so I was like patiently waiting. I remember calling my manager at the time, like probably 10 times a day. I was like, Hey, did you hear anything? Did you hear anything? Did you hear anything? And then the label ultra called us back and they are like, we love it. And we're going to proceed with it. And my manager was like, well, we can't just release this song without a video. And the label was like, well, we don't really want to put a budget for her for a video. So my manager was like, screw it. Let's just film a video on our own because I think this song would work better with uh, a video. So we had this idea of shooting it in Toronto and the, the skyline of Toronto. And we had no budget. We borrowed everything, lawyer's yacht, uh, mm -hmm. went in my closet, you know, did it super low budget. I think we might have spent $500. It looks so lux luxurious, though. Right. I know. I know. But we did that with $500, believe it or not. The whole team was on it. We just, the director was amazing and he was on board. He's a great director, but he, he liked the song. He's like, I, I believe in this. So anyway, we shot the video. Uh, Ultra was really happy with that. So then we released it the next, the following week. And when we released it, I kid you not, I remember sitting on YouTube and looking at the views going up by like the hundreds of thousands. I, it, it was mind blowing. Like I come from a small town. I come from a village of 500 people. Like this, this was surreal to me. So it kind of just took off. And then the next week I was on a flight going to Florida, Fort Lauderdale at the Hard Rock performing for my, my first show with like 6,000 people. <laughs> and then just went on from there. 